You're here with one of our two CMove AGV demos at Siemens Transform 24. And what we're showing here is our answer to black box technology, black box technology in the AGV market. It's a challenge we're looking to solve for our customers. The issues that arise when you own and operate a fleet of black, black box technology AGVs. AGVs that come straight off the shelf when it comes to maintaining and operating that fleet. That can cause issues with proprietary software, hardware you might not recognize or be able to work with and essentially downtime of those AGVs. So what we do is we provide a standardized hardware library of Siemens equipment that you might recognize, have seen around the shop floor today, and also anybody that's ever interacted with a Siemens product on their workplace or training or anything like that, anything they've seen before, they will recognize what's in this AGV. As you can see here, it's pretty similar to what you'd see in a normal control panel. We've got our OPA controller, the relevant IO, two drives on that, and that's a scalable hardware library that is basically tailored to the AGV vehicle that you have. It's really important to remember that as Siemens, we don't make an AGV. What we do is we provide a standardized control system for an AGV. So you can scale that hardware system up to your requirements and they have a software library to complement that as well. So the software library on the PLC, it basically dictates what you would um, design. So we've got a options for your navigation methods, options for your drivetrain methods. Now, what do I mean by drivetrain methods? I mean, how is that vehicle maneuvering in its environment? Here, we've got a differential drive. So that means that two wheels are operating at different speeds to create that movements left and right turns on the spot. We've had other AGs, AGVs that transform in the past that have been omnidirectional, but we provide solutions for you as a customer to scale it up to whatever you're looking to do. When it comes to navigation, we can support magnetic track guided navigation. We can support optical line guided navigation. But what we're looking to show here is our ANS Plus package. Now, ANS Plus is for free navigation, which is just on the right-hand side of the screen here. And what that does is it uses the floor scanners that you can see just at the bottom of the AGV there. It uses the raw data from those floor scanners to present it through to this software that sits on the Linux PC side of our open controller. And we're using the live data from that to navigate this AGV within this environment. So what we've done prior to this event, we've taught this AGV its environment, and then what it does is it compares the theoretical map that's been taught with a real map and localizes itself within that area. And in this demo, it's following the tracks and delivering nice packs of gummy bears to our customers. Now, what we haven't been able to demonstrate in this demo due to space constrictions is that a new addition to ANS Plus is we now support obstacle avoidance. So if something was to get in the way of this track, the AGV is now clever enough to make its way around it and then rejoin the track at the earliest possible opportunity. Now, on top of that, that's all great. The AGV is commissioned. It knows how to get around. It can navigate itself in an environment. But at the end of the day, it needs to be, it needs to have jobs given to it. It needs to be dictated. It needs some sort of traffic management solution. This is what we've got here. This is our fleet management solution. Now, this is one of two fleet management solutions we have. The first one being called Master Control. Master Control is a piece PLC based system that supports up to 150 AGVs but what we've got here is a next level to that which is Fleet Manager which supports 150 PL, uh, AGVs and above. It's not only that volume uplift but also we support um, other AGV manufacturers as long as they subscribe to the right protocol BDA 5050 we can incorporate other AGV manufacturers AGVs into our fleet. So we can orchestrate and dictate tasks to other AGV manufacturers as well as our own and they would navigate within the environment they're working in but that's great. Fleet Manager can dictate tasks to the AGV. AGV can do what Fleet Manager is telling it to do, but how does Fleet Manager know what task to dictate? This is where OpCenter comes in. So OpCenter is from our colleagues at DISW, and what we're focusing on here is one facet of that OpCenter solution, which is OpCenter IPL. OpCenter IPL basically manages the whole process from goods in arriving to then being consumed on the shop floor. So human interaction would be scanning that in at goods in, and then the OpCenter IPL solution recommends the best place within the warehouse to store that. It monitors, so if we have the notice here, the green lights, it monitors how those consumables are being used on the shop floor and then recommends when they should be replenished via Fleet Manager. So this will talk to Fleet Manager. It will say to Fleet Manager, I think you need to tell an AGV to go and replenish this one cell on the shop floor. Fleet Manager finds the most optimal AGV to choose and the most optimal route for that AGV to navigate to the warehouse to pick the soft pick the consumables from the most optimal place, take it to the shop floor, take it where it needs to go, and then the AGV will then report back to Fleet Manager to say, good, I've done that job and I'm ready for the next one.